Hello and welcome to the channel. Feelers coming out of the presidential villa is that there might be a rebrand election. Just not to be caught off guard. They are leaving no stone unturned and preparing for eventualities. This has alerted the opposition Labour Party who has now won their members to stay prepared. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Presidential poll. APC preparing for rerun. LP National Chairman wants members. The National Chairman of the Labour Party, LP, Julio Sabure, has said that the whole Progressives Congress APC is preparing for a possible rerun of the 2023 presidential election, warning members of the party to be alert and not be taken unawares. Speaking on Monday during an online meeting held with Nigerian-American Coalition for Justice and Democracy, led by Professor E.D. Okbaraji, who is the Labour Party diasporan chairman in the United States, Abure said the APC believes that the odds are against it at the election petition tribunal. In a statement, the acting National Publicity Secretary of LP, Obiora E4, said Abure called on the party members to get ready to defeat the APC in the event of a rerun. In Abure words, there are speculations that those in government are already planning for rerun, and this is part of the support we will be conversing from you. We should also be getting prepared because since all those in government are already preparing for rerun, we too should not be taking unawares. So we will be needing your engagement and support on this aspect if it happens today that the election is nullified, which is not what we are asking for. Because we are asking for outright declaration of Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria. We believe strongly that we won that election given the statistics we have. Given the results we have, we are not expecting anything less than declaration of Peter Hobby as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But supposing that did not happen as the government is believed to be planning for a rerun, it will not also be out of place for us to start preparing. I must say clearly that we have put all our evidence before the courts. We are very hopeful that the courts will act in our favor. We are keeping our hope and confidence alive. In nine months, we are able to change the political narrative of this country, and we must build on that success so that we can have a more formidable party that we can strategically position from the downtrodden people of Nigeria, Abure said. The director of the Obidati presidential campaign, Oseloka Obazi, in his contribution said, great countries of the world are built by the citizens of the country, and I think we have in the diaspora enormous human capital. What we need to do is to be able to invest them, bring them home, and make Nigeria to be a great place. The process is ongoing. The campaign to change this nation is not just an event. It is a process, a long-drawn process. How long it is going to last, we don't know. You that are in the diaspora, do what you can do to support us. We that are in the trenches, we will continue to keep the ground. Also, Professor Okbaraji, in a speech titled Fostering a Purposeful Diaspora Partnership for a New Nigeria, said, With our diverse network and resources, our diaspora community can be a catalyst for positive change and contribute to Nigeria's long-term development goal of powering up that new Nigeria of our dream. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, a spokesman of Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Dr. Yunusa Tanko, has debunked a report that Peter Obi hinted at becoming Nigeria's president in 2027. Tanko said that Obi, who was the Labour Party LP candidate during the February 25, 2023 presidential election, never granted such an interview. Our attention has been drawn to a publication in the Daily Post and some social media networks on an interview granted by His Excellency Peter Hobby to Arise TV, Tanko said in a statement. We want to quickly point out that this is the highest level of yellow journalism 
taking too far all in a bit to change the narrative as there was no time. His Excellency Peter Hobby granted such a nebulous interview to Horizon TV. Tanko said that Hobby arrived in Nigeria from an overseas trip just this weekend and described the media report as a fallacy and complete fabrication. For all avoidance of that, His Excellency Peter Hobby did not at any time grant such an interview to any media organization in Nigeria or outside the country. Please note, Tanko said. Obi and the Labour Party are in court to challenge the result of the 2023 election that produced Bola Tinubu as president. Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima presented evidence to support their claim that Obi is not a registered member of the Labour Party. Tinubu and Shetima last Wednesday submitted a copy of the Labour Party membership register for Hanambra State as evidence to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPT. The president and his vice opened their defense in the petition filed by Hobby and the LP challenging their declaration as winners of the 2023 presidential election. They said that Hobby, who allegedly was not a party member during the last presidential poll, was ineligible to contest the election under the LP. In other news, the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Peter Hobby, has mourned the death of the former President General of Rwanda Zehindi Igbo Worldwide, Joe Irukwu. Irukwu, whose death was announced on Saturday by the President of Amaokwe Item Welfare Union, Arisin Eze Okorie, died at the age of 89 years. In a statement via his verified Twitter handle on Monday, Obi expressed sadness over the death of the first Nigerian professor of insurance and one of the country's educationists. The former governor of Anambra State described the late Professor Irukwu as a successful lawyer, a patriot, a great educationist, an author, and a renowned insurance executive. Obi said he benefited from his wise counsel in his early days in business and banking, for which he remains eternally grateful. The help he flag bearer said Irukwu contributed immeasurably to the growth of Nigeria's economy through his active roles in insurance. He therefore expressed his thoughts and prayers with his family and prayed for God to console them, the Oanes, the Hindigbo worldwide, and the entire nation over his loss. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.